In order to bring this project to life, we need to let users select an image from the photo library, then display it somewhere here in our content view. Now this takes a little thinking, mostly because of the roundabout way core image works compared to SwiftUI. First, we're gonna add an import to content view up here for photos UI, and then give an extra at state property to track whatever picture the user selected. So I'll say at state private var selected item is a photos picker item. Again, optional because there isn't one by default. Second one, we wanna place a photos picker view wherever we want to trigger photo selection. And in this app, we can actually place one around this entire if let check here. We can use the processed image or our content unavailable view as the label for our photo picker automatically. And so just before if let processed image, I'm gonna say there's a photos picker with a selection bound to dollar selected item. And then simply wrap that whole if let and else inside there, getting this result here. Now, as you can see, it's given this blue coloring to the content unavailable view, which is intentional. That's iOS way of signaling this is interactive. If you don't want that, you just add a button style plane to the photos picker. We can say button style plane like that, and it'll now stay gray. It does say tap to import to be fair. Third, we want to have a method that's called when an image has been selected. Now, previously I showed you how you can load data from a photos picker item. And separately, I showed you how to feed a UI image into core image for filtering. Here, we've got to kind of bolt these two separate things together because we can't load a simple image from our photos picker item, a Swift UI image that is, because they can't be fed into core image right? Instead, we want to get a UI image. And sadly, we can't get a UI image from that. So instead, we're going to load a pure data, give me just a raw binary blob of data from our photos picker item, and then feed that into UI image. So let's add a method down here called load image. Let's have a new task. Remember, this work is asynchronous. And we'll first say, guard let our image data is try await our selected item, load transferable for the type. And this type of type is data.self, otherwise return, otherwise return. There we go. So just give me the pure binary data for this thing. Again, we can't use image here. We can't feed that into core image. We need an actual UI image here. We can't put UI image here, sadly. So now we have the image data. We're gonna say, guard let our input image is try await, oh sorry, UI image, sorry, with the data of that image data. If that fails, return. So it's saying effectively, give me an image from the item, just in two steps rather than one step. Give me the raw data first, then convert that data to a UI image. And then we'll have uh, more code to come here. So that's gonna handle loading our selection into our UI image called input image here. And we wanna call that whenever selected item changes, whenever they've made a change to their selection in the photos picker. And we can do that by attaching an on change modifier somewhere in content view. It doesn't really matter where. I would say attaching it to the photos picker is a good idea. That's the one doing the actual work. So we have here the photos picker. I would say on change of its selected item call load image like so. At this point, press Command R, uh, run the app actually back on, on a device that you think. Um, we've got our UI looking very nice. We can press this button here, bring up the UI. I'll choose this waterfall. It slides away again. Nothing actually happens. <laughs> I don't do anything with the picture yet, but at least you can see the selection UI appear and then browse through the various options available to you. 